What is going on guys? Grave here today. I'd like to talk about the uh, content change for the Elder Scrolls Online in 2023. Zoss has decided to go away from the year-long story arc. This has been something I've talked about here on the channel myself a lot. And this is something that they've been asking a lot to the community as of late on the forums and on social media. And it looks like Zoss has decided to go away from that year-long arc. They're going to go with something else, a new idea. I will link this information down in the description. This is one of the heads of the studio, uh, studio at Zoss kind of made this article talking about what they're doing. First of all, they did talk about some changes they're trying to make as soon as possible, that being the block bug issue. But then they went on to kind of talk about looking forward, what you can expect from ESO. They talked about all the things they've added to ESO since 2015, all the content, all the hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of hours of story, all the new things, you know, from crafting to antiquities to housing there's just been a lot of things added into the game and they said they felt like that new players are intimidated by all the zones and all the stuff that's in the game and veteran players are looking for something that's not just something you play and it's kind of you play it once and it's done so like a story arc they want something more something they can enjoy for years to come and you know of course things like that that come to mind to me are things you know that are like group dungeons uh, three-man activities, stuff that you can play over and over again, where when it comes to a story, you're playing solo, you can play with friends, but it's not something you're going to play multiple times. And it says, in 2023, they will be moving away from the year-long adventure, the 12-month storyline style. Uh, in 2023, the con uh, content idea will be kind of essentially the same for quarter one and quarter two, but quarter three and four will be something different. So quarter one will be your dungeon DLC and quarter two will be a full featured chapter in June. That will be a complete story. You will be able to play all the way through it without a storyline that is broken up and reserved for a later time that year. So that story is going to be available from start to finish in June. And it says, we will return to a larger, better, and more detailed chapters by doing this. And that is one thing I think a lot of players that have played for a long time, a lot of players that like myself, that like the older style of content where you got more in-depth content a couple times a year compared to having this one big story arc and then just little small chapters are kind of based around it. I think this will make for a better kind of story idea and also more detail and also more, you know, things they could add to that just you know one quarter dlc by instead of breaking it up throughout the year of course they will talk more about the chapter itself in the global reveal event in january they said quarter three will focus on quality of life improvements and bug fixes i think it's a good idea that they're taking one of these quarters and making it just something they can use for fixing the game now it's going to depend on what they can get fixed in that time frame but i still think a lot of players will be happy with this and it says quarter four rather than the usual zone dlc we'll be featuring a new system we're working on the concept and design for this now and we'll be giving more details during the global event early next year they're kind of not really wanting to talk about exactly what this will be or exactly what the system is going to be it just says if you're kind of reading over this uh, moving forward for 2023 it says a devoted to a large new tent pole system so what exactly will this bring? Will this be more things that are more group activities? Will it be something that they're going to add in that's going to kind of combine some other things that they've done in the past with some new things? Who knows exactly what quarter four is going to bring us? But I think a lot of people are going to be happy with this. If you're a fan of just strict, uh, straight, strictly kind of story content, you're still going to get that story content. But instead of it being broken up throughout the year, you're going to get it all at once. Uh, people that are fans of dungeons, you're still going to get your dungeon at, you know, quarter one. Instead of getting, you know, a couple dungeons at the beginning of the year and the end of the year, you're going to get them all at the start of the year. And when it comes to quarter four, I'm kind of assuming or hoping at least it's going to be something more kind of tailored towards group content. We'll have to wait and see exactly what they do. But I think that's also going to be a good thing. And then, like I said, you look at quarter three and that's just improvements and bug fixes, quality of life changes. So the way they're kind of kind of designing this in my, my opinion is to look at what all players are doing in game and kind of giving all players something to look forward to in that particular year so it looks like Zoss is going to go away from that year-long story arc for now will this be something they go away from permanently we'll have to wait and see 
Of course, the year-long story arc has not always been a thing in ESO. They used to handle DLC differently. So it, it was kind of no surprise to me that they decided to change it up after several years. We may see this new system kind of in place for several years until they decide to do something else. But I do think it's good for new players and veteran players alike because it's going to lessen the content for new players and not make them feel so overwhelmed when it comes to all the stuff you can do and there's new stuff added every year. And also for veteran players, it's going to give those veteran players some things to maybe help out in PvE or PvP content with those bug fixes and improvements. And also maybe some new things in that quarter four for group kind of fans to do going forward. We'll kind of have to wait and see until that reveal event to know exactly what quarter four is going to bring and what the quarter two DLC is going to be. There are kind of, they, they are, or they are hinting at something in that quarter two DLC that has been one of the most requested things uh, for ESO. So we're going to have to wait and see what that is. I'm kind of curious. There's a lot of things I've seen requested over the years. So I'm wondering what that uh, quarter two DLC could bring. But overall, are you guys happy with this new idea? Would you rather have gone back to the old uh, DLC system? Or are you wanting them to stay maybe with that year-long story arc? Or are you wanting something new in general for the game overall? Anyway, leave me a comment with your thoughts. And of course, if you liked the video, hit the like. If you hadn't subscribed yet, please do so. And I'll catch you next time. Peace.